Welcome back to another episode of We Are Doing Quests in Monster. And uh, this time it is for sure uh, the New Horizons of Adventure side mission. And this one starts by talking to Catherine. Let's do that. Hey, Catherine. Da, 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 da. Any new commissions? Yeah, greetings, adventure. The tales of your deeds are not known to all in Monster. Uh, not all now, damn it. Uh, I think I misread this. Continue in this fashion, and you are destined to become one of the greatest adventurers of our age. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, do, do, you anything, uh, do you have anything for me to do? If you wish to become a great adventurer, there comes a time when you must move beyond the places you know. Now you have amassed such a wealth of adventuring experience, perhaps it is time for you to explore somewhere new. Take this letter and deliver it to Liu Kefrin. Ooh, another. So, it's not a magically switching Kefrin. There really are two different Kefrins. It's weird. Uh, there's a Kefrin in Liu too? What? Uh, <laughs> should I call you what's that Kefrin in the future? Oh. Huh. If it helps advance your adventuring career, call me whatever you like. Uh, anyway, once Liu Kevrin has this letter, she will be your point of contact there for all your adventuring needs. Of course, whenever you are back in Monster, I will still be delighted to be of service. I would ask uh, that you refrain from opening the letter en route. If anything were to fall out, it could cause complications. Adventure, uh, the time has come for you to take the next step towards the stars and the abyss at Astra Abyss Source Square. So, tightly sealed letter with uh, some support documents. Huh. That proof that. Alright. Um, what do they prove? That is not it. And I still have to open that Liu Shrine. I think I'm going to do this in this mission because I'm also getting a monster key in here. Uh, a tightly sealed letter backed with other supporting documents. And it proved the bearer of the letter to be a reliable and experienced adventurer. Uh, this does not look like a sealed letter. This looks like we already took uh, out the thing that we are supposed to bring to Li Yu. Nicely, though, uh, we can just teleport over there because I already did an awful lot of adventuring in here. And with a bit of luck, I also have unlocked uh, some additional missions in here. Who knows? Hmm. Or I actually have to... Uh, yeah, go um, move on with the uh, main mission a little bit until I actually have a task that tells me to go to Liu. Because I think this is supposed to be done in this manner. Like, move. That, that's the thing. Uh, you're supposed to continue uh, the main mission and do the side missions at the same time, kind of. But I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I just like to do all of the side missions and then be prepared for the main mission and then. I'm done, pretty much. Uh, that's also one reason why I didn't really like the, um, what was it, uh, Batman Arkham City or something. Um, I think that was it, yeah, uh, Batman Arkham City, because I just explored everything uh, and uh, you just forgot about, you forget about all the places where you have to uh, still go back to uh, with a specific uh, technology to maybe uh, put a, uh, a, a glue boat uh, on the water or something like that. Uh, it's just uh, all over the place. Anyway, uh, and then you have to basically finish the game and then do the side missions. But usually what happens for me is the moment I'm, con uh, I'm finished with the main mission, I immediately lose interest. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why I try to keep it uh to the end there so uh that it can get kind of like the full experience so um ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, i have a letter for you and only you i suspect this is uh for you yeah a letter for me oh so you're an adventure for monster mm -hmm. that's uh what's this hayden darling why is that in dalian in the envelope Adventure, did you place a dandelion in this envelope to try and prove you are from Mondstadt? There's really no need. There's more than enough information contained in this letter to establish your identity and background. Ha, ah, it wasn't me. <laughs> I bet it was Kefrin. Kefrin? Oh, you must mean Mondstadt Kefrin. Ah, why did she put a dandelion in with the letter? Very odd. A dandelion isn't much use to an adventure now, is it? Ah, not that it really matters, of course. 
This letter from the Monster Adventure Guild says that you are a highly experienced adventurer. If that's true, I'm sure you are ready to take on commissions from the Liu Kefre uh, Adventure Guild. A whole new world of wild adventure awaits you at Astra Abyssal Square. Wasn't there just some, uh, some, there was some strange glowing there happening. I don't know. We heard. Did we just unlock a uh, commission system in Liu? That would be sweet. We did get the key though. Why does she have a monster key, by the way? Like. Uh, hmm. Claim daily commissions reward. You've already. Uh huh. So this has nothing to do with it. Do we have anything unlocked in here? Any new symbol? Any new whatever? Nope. Um. What about the dispatchment system? That one didn't really. Okay. Monster tubes for some reason only have four of them. I don't know why. And this is like. Some Mora, otherwise nothing. All right. So what am I gonna do? I want to continue with a little. Yeah, uh, I wanted to open some shrines of deaths. Um, let's do this one over here. Uh, because I was looking around. Okay, what kind of shrine would be somewhere in the neighborhood? And this, for some reason, was the only one. That I didn't really know anything about. And not just for no reason, uh, like, there okay, is okay. actually okay, okay. a good reason why you may miss this uh, shrine. Because it's right inside the mountain. And the way you can reach it is also very interesting. You have to go to the end of the river here. Right around here. And then, because when you stand somewhere uh, on the outside, you just look in here and you see, yeah, okay, there's stuff in there. Uh, no chests, no anything. I don't even know if I was here to begin with. Like, of course, now I was here because I check, uh, had to check the side first. But uh, before that, I don't really know. That's the thing. There's just this annoying ice mage. Oh, shit. I missed it. Hey! I have to defeat him real quickly, otherwise. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Mm. Come on, get up there. There we go. Ah, oh, that's so uh, sweet. Even the ice field won't help him. And there's, of course, a common chest. And some other nice goodies. Uh, it's also a really good mining location, by the way. Well, good. Uh, I wouldn't really say good, but at least you get a, a good variety of uh, crystals. Even if it doesn't really make sense to give you uh, lower grade crystals, because the amount of experience you get from higher grade ones is just so much better. Uh, but there are specialties, new specialties here. Core Lapis, for example. And uh, what else is there? A nice cooking station, that's neat. What else? Uh, then there were two of those crystals on the other side. Right over there. Actually, three. One of them is just very difficult to see in the dark. Yeah, it is a decent mining location. And it also is actually very beautiful looking. If not for the fog that kind of makes everything look meh. But alright. Let's open the thing. Uh, and get ourselves the last... Mm, well, not much on uh, Liu Shrine. So, and in here we have... Uh, wait a minute. Some Berserker's timepiece. Sweet. Twice, even. Good items, good items. But I have to say that the Berserker's timepiece, I think... The, the chance of two of them coming out uh, at level 4... Well, this is not it. Mm. No, this is also not it. Uh, Berserker's timepiece. There we go. Somewhere in here there might be the Berserker's timepieces. Uh, and I... Why can't they just be sorted? Alright. Uh, let's sort it by Berserker. Alright. Uh, there's absolutely no way of sorting them. Like, why? Uh, anyway. Uh, there's attack that's decent. And attack 2 and HP. Yeah, these were probably the new ones that I got. Yeah. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, there's one attack one. There's another attack one. What's the difference? Uh, this one has crit damage, which is always good. This one has additional flat attack. That's also quite nice. And this one has attack as well. And instead of having... Uh, okay, it has some uh, defense on there as well. But it's just... Hmm. What do I do with those marks? Like, some of them have defense on them. Some uh, of them have... What is it? Healing bonus on them. Hmm. Would... Uh, Crit rate and crit damage actually oh, increase the healing of certain abilities because you well you don't really do damage um, but you do uh, use more power uh, or have a more powerful skill right like think of it as this way uh, the, the damage stat is actually just uh, an amount of additional oomph that the ability can pack in and if it is for example a healing ability then uh, it should also give you more healing right and there we have another monster key there might be another one somewhere in storm terror's lair but i have to unlock that area first so yeah for now let's uh, use up all of our remaining liu uh all of our remaining sh uh, keys in this case the liu and monster one all together so wait where was this thing uh it was up there wasn't it let's destroy that uh. So, and in here, well, yeah, it's just normal stuff. Most of it blue. Nicely, uh, though, they give you some talent upgrade material. That's quite nice. For now, I do have uh, some of them amassed. The problem is I have to ascend the character first because this one is already maxed out. And in order to increase that even further, well, I could, but I have to, what is this? Do the Childy Challenge. Or uh, whatever the other, other challenge I have to do. What's this one? Uh, yeah, that's the Storm Terror, for example. And then there were three different ones. Yeah, and then I have also Storm Terror's challenge. Interesting. Tvalin's plug. Hmm. So there are different items you get from Tvalin. Uh, yeah, and her abilities need to be upgraded uh, next, I would say. And I should, yeah, I should actually do that. Like, this one is already maxed out anyway. And uh, I want to max out her stats just in case. So, everything in here has to be leveled up to level 4. The problem is I utilize all of those <laughs> uh, shields here. And that may bite me in the ass once I uh, have the level up for Bennett unlocked. Hmm. All right, how many of those uh, golden ones do I even have? I don't think that's too many. Okay, three. Uh, but I need four of them for each ability. Uh, I don't know which one I should get, but all right. Uh, so 29 is like 27 because this is divisible by three. Uh, 27 divided by three makes nine. Uh, so it's another three golden shields in there. Not that much. But yeah, the amount just increases dramatically at some point. So, are there any more monster art? Uh, this is a Sealy chest, chest. Yeah, I have to somewhat explore the western area in here a bit further. Uh huh. Until I reach this strange kind of barrier in there. Because I can explore it. It's just that I think I haven't really obtained any items there. And for the end of the episode, let's do that. Let's do some exploration closer to Storm Terror's lair. Uh, and then, uh, what's this one? The Rumored Alchemist. Go to Monster's Alchemy Store. Ah, this is why Sucrose inhabits it at the moment. It has no other real uh, reason. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go and explore the area, um, I have to test if I can uh, do some commissions in Liu now because if I am now sent to uh, to Liu uh, on official business and Catherine can't do a thing for me then uh, my guess is that I can at least do some requests or bounties or whatever uh, down here 
Oh no, wait a minute. Uh, that was a separate kind of environment here. There we go. Let's see. Hello there, interested in doing some work for the Ministry of Civil Affairs? Oh, tell me a little about you. Hmm. It's not unlocked yet. Uh, because I talked to her before and she explained everything and I'm still not able to do that. Great. Yes. So I have to advance the story first in order to unlock the Liu uh, task board. Because I think uh, you have a daily limit of three, uh, not a daily limit, a weekly limit of three requests you can do. Uh, but you can decide to spend them on Monstart or Liu. Or if you are really lucky, let's hope so, uh, you get additional um yeah uh, you get additional uh tries for the request well not really tries but just uh, yes. a, a, a higher limit for the uh, for the requests so you're not just bound by a maximum of three each week but let's say six or five or whatever So, wait a minute. Uh, I have to go a little bit further this way. And also, well, this is just an ice mage. Ah, oh, Leon's troubles. Where is it? I saw the ice mage before Leon. That was weird. <laughs> ah, I love it when you can basically uh, burn down the grass. And the grass burning does additional damage on the enemies as well. This is so cool. This only happens with fire, uh, where you can utilize the exterior world to get, uh, have a little uh, of an advantage for you. Because if you use electricity, yes, it can spread, uh, but only for every ability you cast. Uh, whereas if you burn down the grass, it will burn for a little bit longer, therefore deal additional damage. Uh, it's just so sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the uh, monster shrine over there. I marked that one. Then there is a... I was probably exploring that area beforehand. Oh, yeah, let's get those lamp glass thingies. Because I think I need them for sucrose. And for some reason, I do tend to get an interest uh, in playing some some catalyst users in this game. The strange thing though is that there are no catalyst users in here. Like uh, yeah. you could try to play as a cat well male catalyst players, uh, male catalyst characters. Mm. Like every single character that uh, has a, uh, a catalyst is female, which is weird. <laughs> uh, Really weird. I actually thought that Venti was one of those uh, wind... Oh, there's a chest. Uh, one of those animal catalyst users, but he's actually a bow user, which came as a surprise. Hey, wind chasing treasure. What? Okay, I got two of those. Again, wrong one. Uh, how do you open? Well, it's... Yeah. I don't even know if there's a separate button for it. Ah, uh, open 400 chests in one side, excluding the Dragon Spire area. Ayyyy, that's a lot of chests. Now, uh, unlock all the shrines of depths in Liu. And with this, we also finished up uh, the Liu Harbor area. Um, contract and whatnot. That is actually a really good background. It looks neat. It has some nice emotion that it conveys. That's perfect. So... Yeah, that, that's just fiery red, and this one is... Ah, uh, that, that's cool. That has some nice autumn breeze in there, whereas this one is just cold and empty. Like, you see the castle on one side, uh, and some peaks on the other, but there's actually nothing happening in this part of the image. And the rest is just some strange... Uh, well, yeah, some, some, some strange shape thingies on the background. Whereas this one, you have a tree over here with very, well... It's not that detailed, but it has more detail than, let's say, the mountain peaks. And there's also some detail in the back. Like you can kind of think that there's some ruin or whatever floating thingy, depending on if the dark stuff uh, is the object or the light stuffs are, are the object. And this one is just a funny one in the background. This one actually looks also pretty sweet. The inside of a house. 
pretty damn cool. Yeah, this one is very three-dimensional, whereas all the others, well, this is also somewhat kind of three-dimensional, it goes to the back, but you don't really see a space. Um, this one here is a space. Uh, this one is just kind of a flat image. Uh, and this one is also very flat. Uh, this one also very flat. This one is just all over the place. Uh, you don't really see the tree in here. Like, I would have thought that you can... Well, hmm. Like, you see, everything in here is just cold. It's blue. The red stuff is just some kind of... It's not really an accent. It's just there. As if someone uh, accidentally picked the wrong color uh, and colored it in, but then decided to not use it anymore. You could have just have the tree grow much larger and have a, a lot more accent in there. Maybe even some lines. Like you see the heart, you see the tips, uh, but other than that, there is nothing else that is uh, red on the tree itself. And or the tree is not like you could make the whole tree red. You don't really need to depict it um, exactly the way it is in the game. You you just have to uh, get the rough idea of what you are uh, coloring. In this case, the tree is supposed to be. Uh, uh, some kind of um, thing uh, that grows from the blood of a dragon, therefore a heat tree itself. And, uh, like a ley line heat tree, kind of. And uh, therefore the whole tree can also just be considered red. And then you have uh, the tree, a red object, uh, splitting the background coldness into two. And then you can put it like a two-thirds to the right, one-third to the left, something like that. Uh, Alright, so I did open up a ton just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. So every time... Uh, like, he doesn't really say that... Yeah. If you just walk normally with the character, nothing really happens. Uh, but every time you use the dash... Damn it. Uh, okay, now it's not happening anymore. That's weird. Or it was because every time you use the dash, the character's voice over uh, gets cancelled. And it has to restart. That's why it goes on and on and on and on and on. If you just uh, dash multiple times in a row. Alright. Uh, what was this thing all about that I marked over here? Like I marked the chess. Uh... But for some... Either the... Why did I mark a chest, but didn't really get the chest? That is weird. It's supposed to be over there. Uh, so either... Uh, the chest is behind the wind wall. Which... You can't even see... Like, the closer you get, the less you can see in there. Whereas if you stand a little bit further away, you can actually see some detail. All right, now what happened to the chest? Did I pick this up or not? I know that somewhere here in the west, uh, I just forgot to do the exploration, or somehow some uh, shielding got broken, and the ruin got accessible. Yeah, no, 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 no! Don't want to climb up those trees. Actually, if I don't know if I finished everything in this area. Always look upwards every now and then, because then you can see some uh, magical floating slimes sometimes. Hmm. And upwards we go. Ah, uh, kind of looks like the Adeptus tower yes. itself. Maybe that is it. Maybe the Adepti were king. Well, they might have been kings before. Hmm. We heard. All right, let's get uh, up there and explore the western part of it. Uh, that was there. We go. Uh, I think this over here is the ruin that I'm talking about. There we have another monster thingy, but I need the keys first. By the way, um, 
there was one Liu set uh, of tasks, like Liu the harbor and da 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 da. And then there's the monster thingy. Uh, there are still a few tasks to do. Sanctuary, da da, unlock all shrines of deaths in Mordstone. <laughs> so the one that I have marked already is the last one. That's perfect. Uh, complete 15 open world mechanisms, activate a time trial, challenges in Mordstone. Okay, uh, the last two remaining ones might be in the Dragon Spire. Then at the Wind Lead, upgrade the statues of seven monster to their maximum level. Okay, that uh, might take a little bit because I need to get some more uh, animoculi. A uh, pressure of a, th a thousand winds. Unlock all teleport waypoints. You know, yeah, everything is uh, excluding the Dragon Spire. Hmm. We got it. <laughs> Dragon Spire special. Mm. Continental Explorer Monster. Light up the entire monster map, excluding the dragon. Excluding, excluding, excluding. Just make a separate Dragon Spire thing. Come on. You can't even find any Mocula in the Dragon Spire. So I think we got it. Dragon Spire is not Monster. It's a sep uh, separate area. And also, the uh, Dragon Spire is not a. Yeah, what is it not? Uh, the. Dragon Spire is also not. Was it done here before? I don't know. This could be where the chest might be, right? Or I got this one by accident and just forgot to take away the marker. Probably the latter. Yeah. I can't see the chest now. That means uh, I probably obtained it and just forgot to take away the marker. I don't like it when that happens because I'm just going, getting com extremely confused. Okay, do we have to go there? Did I do the exploration properly? And then in the end, uh, when you take away the marker, <laughs> and there's still the object present. Oh, yeah, so screwed. Whatever. There we have an hour of the storm. Oh, okay, that could be it. Uh, yep, there's the, there's the chest. Thankfully, it didn't get it away. Uh, the way is probably to climb up and use that to our advantage. Those eyes of the storm are actually really easy to defeat. You just aim at them from afar, hope that they don't dash at you, and then you just uh, sprint it up to the side, last moment. The whole thing is basically uh, automatic shooting. Uh, because they have a little bit of movement and the extra damage, I believe, from uh, that bow is uh, that needed. And what is it doing? It's falling over. Perfect. There we go. Time to get some items off of it. Uh, or not. Let's go with or not. So, uh, the idea of this is to climb upwards and then... With a bit of luck, to not hit the wind wall uh, when you again fall. Look, see that? Uh, I cannot get through the wind wall because uh, the glider kind of got bugged. So, what I have to do is not use the wind glider, but uh, instead just jump down slowly. Uh, maybe diagonal like this one. Uh, and then you are in. All right, that was the chest. So let's delete this one. And there is another one right in front of me. <laughs> Fine, the hole. The occasional 8,000 damage is always so cool. Now the second chest is open. Get rid of this one. Alright, uh, I don't know if there's one inside that broken down tower. Oh, wait, I have to get on top of that ruin just in case. Hmm. Yeah, just, just in case, because... Sometimes you can see things from up on top that you can't see from down below. And there's this. Da, 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 da. This is the way upwards. And yeah, there's another rune over here. I have to check that out too. But there's the CD there. 
already in place. Whoa, what? Okay, one more enemy to go. So yeah, there's nothing up here. I don't know. Did I climb up here? Just somewhere on the side. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing up there. Uh-huh. Ah, let's ignore that. Well, um, I don't want to ignore the last silico because sometimes they're also kind of bound to a chest. Yeah. So, um, if you see a bunch of enemies, a group of them, um, for the first time, try to uh, destroy them. And then, hope that they are kind of uh, bound to a chest also because every enemy in here is kind of bound to a chest uh, sometimes you can see the chest from the get-go uh, and sometimes you have to defeat them first and then the chest appears uh, sometimes even uh, the enemies uh, appear after you picked up an object uh, like a plant and then the chest appears uh, or let's say what else do we have mm. And sometimes the chest just appears and no enemies are there if you pick up a plant. It's usually not a mint that you have to pick up. Uh, but yeah, most of the time it's if you pick up one of three specific items. That I just happen to be in the neighborhood. Okay, so there's nothing up here. Check that one. But what, yeah, you have to look... At every side of the ruin, because there could be a chest on that side, on that side, or on the two other sides. But I checked those already. Ah, oh, there's another. Okay, so I did do some of those challenges beforehand, but I just did uh, do the challenges further to the east. Yeah, there's another one down there as well. <sighs> yep, that whole area needs to be uh, discovered. Let's just do that, why not? Do, 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 do. The thing is just, uh, as long as there's this wind thingy, uh, that wind wall over here, it kind of just cuts uh, the terrain in two. And if I unlock the map afterwards, then I can see everything. And I have to basically do the searching uh, for items and everything a second time. Just because uh, that wind wall is just round and ignores huh, my strategic way of uh, searching. Now then, uh, we have our CD over here. Where does it go to? And also three or even more balls. Let's just... Okay, I got two balls. I got two balls. Yeah. What else? Oh! Okay, it doesn't make any sign. Strange kind of ruin. A bell tower. Why would you use a bell for? usually use it as a, some kind of signal well <laughs> an audio signal uh, hmm where did the CD go now the CD went somewhere up up on the mountain it just completely lost its track that's absolutely amazing okay, there okay. it is okay so go to the tree on that side and then just follow it further Where is your little shrine? There we go. Alright, uh, I think I still have to explore that valley down here. Just a little okay. bit. Uh, so what is it that I marked over here? This is the Sealy and this is the Sealy. So the Sealy that I found is also the same uh, Sealy that I placed here. 
It's just that uh, I didn't really write it correctly. Uh, it should have been Sealy uh, Sealy Shrine instead of Sealy. Just just the Sealy itself, basically. Uh, hmm. Could there be another chest somewhere on the side? Where you wouldn't normally see it. Ah, and what did I say about enemies uh, being bound to a chest or something? If my assumption is true, then after defeating those, a chest will appear. It's probably not. They're just some uh, random enemies, whatever. Don't even know if I've uh, defeated them in the past or not. Yeah, so that was not connected to it. Oh, okay. Oh, you could hide something between the roots of that tree. Maybe even on top of that tree. Oh, you could hide so many things on top of trees in here. Unbelievable. Yeah, you can walk up here. Maybe there already was an item. Who knows? I think you could also hide another chest in that tree. Uh, yeah, it's usually just the big trees where you can have a little bit more room. Maybe that one would also, yeah, definitely put a chest up there. The uh, thinner, more pointier one, uh, trees, those are the ones where usually nothing can be found on top. Except for the occasional uh, animal cure or whatnot. Okay, so this area probably explored. I don't know. Or maybe I ignored it. Who knows? Yeah, there should have been a chest in here. So that basically means I've explored the area. Now it's just a good source of some mora. <laughs> some decent amounts. Character level, up materials, and the like. Pretty sweet. Even though you don't get that much more out of it. Ooh, two more cities to go. Uh, yeah, it, it's still a lot. Hmm. Okay, everything uh, on top of there, I will basically explore as well. Have to. And a wrong character. I need a pole arm user. <laughs> and then give him the black tassel. I think that was the one, yeah. The black tassel does additional damage to slimes. And then you go slime hunting. Actually, uh, the slimes usually inhabit the domains most of the time. So going through the domains with a uh, uh, pole arm user and uh, the black tassel equip may give you an additional advantage on top of uh, your normal elemental interaction. Oh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I ran out of stamina. Alright, so that basically means I'm going to climb up uh, this way instead. Let's see. Let's give this stamina some time to regenerate. Alright, so uh, this was uh, the uh, CD that we got on there. Hmm. Huh. Would have guessed that this is at least a good area uh, to collect some pine cones. Oh, look at that. Uh, but yeah, this is in yeah inside it. What was that marker? Do I have to place it a little? AC. Yeah, I have to place it a little bit further to the west. Just a little bit further, like this way, maybe. 
And then it's perfectly okay. It's getting closer, but I can already see it. That's so annoying. So wait a minute. Uh, I must have been on top of that little peak right there, right? Uh. It's also kind of interesting that even if it's raining, you can still climb up 90 degree or even higher angled mountains. It's quite fascinating. Alright, uh, let's continue alongside this storm barrier here. Go further north and so on and so forth. I think, yeah, uh, I probably explored that area, but there could be uh, the occasional item. Oh, bollocks. The distance was actually much more than intended. Alright, uh, can I... I can do two jumps, or maybe three. There we go. Until I run out of stamina. Look at that. These are all pine trees, but none of them have pine cones on them. <laughs> kind of weird. The whole area should be littered with it. Oh, look at the grass. I love these terrains. Like, windy, wind, open, almost endless uh, steps or something. Grasslands. That is so cool. And then a storm goes on. I think this is the perfect environment. I don't know. I just like it. It's amazing. Has some kind of end of the world wipe. Yeah, we're going back. Da, 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 da. You can get a similar feel if you just uh, ride around uh, the corners, edges, whatever, at uh, the end of the map in The Witcher. And with a bit of luck, there's also a huge storm going. That's one of the more interesting terrains. Ah, hmm. Okay, Pride Crown Canyon. So, all of the chests that are available to you, I think, uh, I have obtained. There's the dude. Okay. Hmm. I definitely did some exploration a while back. Definitely did. Alrighty, so much to that. Let's uh, move the camp out a little bit. Oh yeah, the expeditions are done now. Perfect. And I can also uh, get some reputations from finishing some of those quests. Two of them I did. Um, and one of them is a main mission-ish. So, I think I can get three of those missions. And then there are not that many left. So, let's collect that. Why Mora? Why not everything else? Well, because Mora is the most useful. You can basically... Yeah, you, you have to use Mora for everything, basically. It's the only reason. And this right here with the sucrose will be probably done in the next episode. <laughs> uh, good old cliffhanger. There we go. Let's get some rewards. Alright, okay. Uh, I thought it was free, but it's just too, too bad. So, if I would continue the story, then a few more of those side missions will pop up. <laughs> One, three, four, five, six side missions are there to come in one stop. Mm, and Song of the Dragon and Freedom. And only one main mission for some reason. Because the Outlander who caught the wind, yeah, this is like the beginning. One, two, for Tomorrow Without Tears. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, there are just three missions, three story missions related to Monster. That's quite interesting. 
It's just that the story missions actually take a little while uh, and have additional steps between them. Or well, stages, whatever. Uh, because the whole find the... Uh, uh, find the liar, find the tears, uh, go to Dvalin kind of thing. That is a multi-step process. It's not just one singular quest. Especially, it's, uh, it's kind of like a string of quests. Anyway, uh, let's end this episode right now and continue with the rumored alchemist in uh, the next one. Until then, like and subscribe. Ta-ta!